All right, y'all. More than just a couple of you guys, and I've seen it in the comments, and I've seen it in the emails, more than a couple of y'all said, you guys are really going to get a kick out of this artist right here. You said it's definitely up our alley. So when I see that, I was like, okay, let's go ahead and check this one out today. And it's a brand new artist that we've never checked out here on the channel before. So why not go ahead and knock it out? Y'all know we give the people what they want. But if you are new here, welcome to Rob Squad Reactions. You're here Monday through Sunday, three times a day with your boy Jay. Hey, y'all. You're also here with your girl Amber. We're listening to Alexander O'Neill. This is an artist from the 80s. So honestly, knowing just that bit of information tells you that it could be anything because that was such a anything. fun decade for music. But the title of this one is Fake. I don't know what we're getting into. Like I said, 80s. God, I feel like 80s is just a huge, just melting pot of music. The 80s is genres, like walking into the forest, yes. right? And not knowing which direction to look. Because <laughs> there's wild things everywhere. You and it's all bands. beautiful. You got your eclectic. synth pop looking characters over here. Like, oh, wild, wild time. But I'm jealous because I wish I was there during it. But enough talking. Alexander O'Neill, fake. Let's check it out. Can I get some nasty bass? Nasty bass. Nasty bass. Mm. It's gonna be kind of right tonight. All okay, right. Hey, Alexander. We're gonna talk about a girl who's late, huh? A girl who's late. Oh, we're about to tell us. I get you to put your hands together for that. He talking about a woman who be who be changed up every day, changing her hair. One day I forgot the two names. One day she's this. One day she's that. Changing up on him, and, and his, he's pretty much just saying, "Hey, you're fake." And you know he's talking about her being in Beverly Hills with the fake eyelash. Hey, I, it, it's okay, women. Y'all wear fake eyelashes. If that's what makes you feel better, you do you. But this song, oh my goodness, especially in today's world, is so relevant. No, I, f I felt like he was about to tell us about it, right? Tell us about somebody. Let me get a nasty bass. He needed that bass line. And she called him Clyde when, right. when they woke up. Cause he was, right, because he was about to go in on old girl. But not just is he saying things about her fake, like in her inside, like her genuineness is fake too. He he said she's a liar. Mm -hmm. Like he said, they're everything. He said, let me tell you about her. And he is telling us about it, but in a voice. Mm. Is that is really really fantastic. We ain't just talking about how how he his he feels right now. If we want to talk about his voice, he's got a really great voice, and I love that that eighties like oh, R&B. It, it's up right up our alley. Y'all were y'all were hundred percent It's right up our alley for sure. Yeah, let's get back.
<laughs> Alexander O'Neal, I like it. And then especially right there, oh, he gave you just some some grit. Like like, like he meant it right there yeah. towards the end. No, he meant the whole thing from the beginning, beginning. But how many of you brothers have this song playing through your speakers after a mm, bad breakup? Man. I would not want this song dedicated to me. This is not one of those heartwarming, sweet songs. This is a song of somebody who was absolutely fed up. He said himself, the jig is up. The jig is up. And the more I go out with you, the more I find out about you. And he was not cool with what he was finding out. But I loved his delivery. I loved when he did give us that soulful growl. Oh, man, man, it was so, so nice. No doubt. And his band was absolutely amazing, too. We need to find out some more about Mr. Alexander O'Neill. So as always, you guys do an amazing job uh, giving us info about these new artists down in the comments. So make sure you guys do that and add some songs to that as well because I like it. Y'all know I love the 80s. There's so much stuff that goes on, so many different genres. But that one right there, I, I, li I like it when he got up on stage, gave you some spunk, told her about it. Because I feel like most of the time we see the women kind of telling the men about it. So the role's a little bit reversed here. I feel like we hear the men talk a lot about the women. You think so? I feel like, yeah, for sure. I feel like it. music goes both ways because heartbreak goes both ways. And a lot of music is, is about either romance or heartbreak. Don't nobody do it like Stevie. And that's oh, right. Don't nobody. nobody. Don't, like Stevie. don't know. No matter how, what was in the lyrics of this song, ain't nobody going to make a breakup song like Stevie. But this one. And make you sit there and play the like guitar to it while I sing it to you. <laughs> but this one was very, very in your face. I, I liked it. And I like um upbeat R&B songs from like the 80s so it'd be fun to see a little bit more of that no suggested doubt. too. Well thank you guys so much for that suggestion as we always send you out of here every single day Monday through Sunday three times a day. We love you we thank you we appreciate you remember every single day that y'all wake up it is a blessing and that you are blessed and for your new family members to hit that subscribe button down below we welcome you guys to the RSR family and hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Until next time we'll see you guys. Oh wait oh my goodness we got a goal. I'm rushing out of here. That simple goal is very easy, y'all. All you have to do is go out in this beautiful world and make somebody smile. Hey, your boy's stomach's growling. I was thinking about that lunch. Make somebody smile. We love you guys. Till next time. We'll see y'all later.